Hey, what's going on? This is Rob from Panther and I want to show you how to make the Woolmark logo in Illustrator. So let's jump in. This is the vector file I made and from here we're gonna start from zero. Make sure you're on the stroke. So right now I'm the fill. I gonna click on the none. If you have something on the fill, just click on the none here. Click on the stroke, select the color. I'm gonna go with black and uh, select the circle, which is located right here, the ellipse tool. Click on the screen and type in 155 per 155. Click OK. From here, we're going to create a new copy. Press and hold Alt, drag it to the right and also press Shift. And we should be somewhere around here. I can actually, there's like a specific measurement I made. I'm going to create a rectangle between and see the width. The width right now is 77. So the width basically needs to be 61 like this. And uh, I'm going to just put this here and I'm just going to move the circle here. OK, so basically this is the correct measurement. I'm going to go and select the direct selection tool, which is located here. I'm going to select this anchor point. Oh, I'm going to select actually all. If you drag it like this, actually, it's going to select everything. So I'm going to just click on this anchor point, press and hold shift and also select this anchor point, press delete. And now we are left with these two lines. We're going to go to the stroke. If you have, if you don't have the stroke, go to windows and select the stroke. It's located right here and also click on this little arrow so you can basically drop down the menu of this. So uh, the stroke is 12. I'm going to increase the weight of the stroke right here. And we're going to select a profile for the stroke, which is this one. Profile number one. From here, go to object, blend and make. And double click here on this little thing. Select specified steps and enter three. So now we got like five of these curvy lines as in the original logo as well. Okay, from here, we're gonna go to the effects, distort and transform, transform. We're gonna do three copies, actually two. And uh, we're gonna type in, now let me see, 120 degrees. In the horizontal, I'm gonna type in 84. And in the vertical, I can type in minus nine. Click OK. So this is how you make. This is how you can see the curvatures right here. They just embed perfectly. You know, they just melt perfectly into each other. I'm going to create a new copy. Um, what else? I also need to make this, you know, to cut out basically these areas. So I'm going to go to object, expand appearance. As you can see, it expanded everything. So um, I'm going to right click on group and I'm going to work only with this. Let's select the pen tool, which is located right here. And I'm going to cut out these three, actually. So there you go. And I'm going to just delete this and this. You see, we got another form in there. And ba ba mainly basically apply the same effect. Go to effect, distort, transform, transform. 320, 84, minus, what was that, 9? Click OK. And there you go. There's like another real cool stuff on this one. Basically, you can do a lot more modifications here. You can see we still got the blend effect and we also have a, the, the distort and transform. So I can also edit the blend, like double click on this and, you know, make some new stuff. This is a new logo already. Am I right? And you also can do some weird stuff out of this. I think I uh, broke it. This should be the normal one. And also you can go back to the effects from here to the from the appearance. If you don't have the appearance, whoops, wait a sec, I need to 
Okay, from now. Basically, if you don't have the appearance, go to Windows and select, where is that? Appearance, right here. And you just go here to the transform. You can see that this is basically the effects panel. You go to the transform and you get back to the options. And yeah, this is how you make the logo. It's really cool. I love this logo. Anyways, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new on the channel. Hit the notification bell so you get notified with daily updates. And have a great day. Bye-bye.